I am super excited to show you my kitchen reveal, so stay tuned.
got nothing. <laughs> I made a black bean burger recipe yesterday and I didn't film it. I do already have that recipe on my channel and I'll link it in the description below. I actually have two black bean burger recipes. One is a steak and one is a burger. This one is really tiny. It smells really good. I ate one yesterday on a bun that is a gluten-free vegan bun and it was just way too much bun. <laughs> it was a lot of bun. So this is a vegan cheese that I got at Walmart. Mmm. Monday night. They play for the first time this year. Today, September 11th. We all know what day that is. Mmm. Mmm. The potatoes are magnificent. They don't need anything added to them whatsoever for flavor. They're loaded with flavor. Mm. Perfectly done. Mm. Melt in the mouth. Yeah. I'm going to get eating and then I'll come back on after I'm done. Hi there. I'm holding the camera in my hands. Let me put it down so I'm not shaky because you don't need to be putting up with that. No. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hi. Hi, 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 hi. I'm so excited today to bring you guys my kitchen reveal. This has been a work in progress. It has been a lot of fun to do. I, it's finally completed 99%. I will talk about the 1% that is not done yet in here. It requires a sewing machine and I don't have one that works. I, I have one that sews, but the thread keeps jumping off of the first thing that you have to wrap it around. Then you go down and come back up and thread through, blah, 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 blah. And I don't know why it's jumping off of there. I've blown out the dust. I've done everything I can possibly do. Regardless, I digress. We're here to talk about my kitchen. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn the camera around without further ado, and I'm going to show you what I have gotten done. So here we go. Here is the fish eye view of what has been done. And then I will take you around in there and I will tell you everything that so I did. The 1% is this door right here. I need to remove it and I want to hang a really pretty frilly white curtain and it would sashay <laughs> it would sashay <laughs> I'm gonna sashay on over there it would you know do one of these deals and hang down and then I can close it because I have no doors in this house so that's the door to the bathroom area and then there's another one of these exact th same things that are into the bedroom area so when they're both closed the, it, the bathroom is all by itself all right. i am backed up against the counter and leaning back even farther so i can show you this view okay firstly i of course took the existing peel and stick wallpaper that was up on these cabinets I put it up there 
when I moved in because I didn't want brown everything. And the kitchen was extraordinarily colorful because apparently I like to live in cartoon land. And so I got tired of living in cartoon land and I really was inspired by Deborah Joy actually to do this kitchen in a more country cottagey fashion. And so I decided to go with white, which is something that I never do. <laughs> I don't think I've painted a wall white in all the years <laughs> that I've been painting walls. So after I painted it, I hand painted and it's in my videos. I'll put a playlist below. I hand painted the little sage leaves on every single cabinet in the corners. And then I ordered from Amazon and I will link the stickers below these decals and they're just stickers that you put on. They don't have to be scratched on or anything. You just peel them off of the thing and stick them on. I do that in my kitchen as kitchen, what you call them, videos as well. <laughs> Butterfly, a heart, and then this one. I don't drink, but I like the, I like the way that looks. And then there's where I hung my door. I love the wallpaper. It's simple. It's, it screams farmhouse, which is what I want my kitchen to scream. Farmhouse, country, cozy. <clears throat> now I'll come down here. Now I still need to deal with this countertop. I, I don't know what to do with it. I, I, I'd like to take the laminate off of it and either replace the laminate or find something that I can peel and stick that will work. So then I hand painted and I've got stickers and now I will show you the stenciling that I did. So that's right there. I'll give you a little overview of the styling that I've done. This is a book that I sell on Amazon. And I have got recipes in here that I'm writing down for my grandchildren. And I'm creating a cookbook for you guys. So now we're on the other side of the kitchen. Pardon the shakiness of this camera. That's me. So before I had the really colorful wood on this refrigerator. I have now replaced it with what's on the walls here. And of course all the trim over here has been painted. And then these roses I stenciled. And that's in this video, my stenciling these roses onto here today. When I put the very first black rose up there, I went, hmm. But when I put the second one, I went, yeah, I like it. And then I put this right here today. Those are stencils. Paint. I painted. And then here's that cabinet over the microwave. Those are from Amazon. And then that's painted. And this is still part of the thing from Amazon. I got it in one big kit thing. <laughs> I can't talk. My words don't want to come to me. <sighs> I don't know. So that's got to go right there. That stair, it, it may sound crazy. I keep that stair carpeted like this because at night, if I were to make it the same color as this floor, I wouldn't be able to see that stair and I'll break my neck. I just know it. So I want to take the carpet off the stair and probably what I'll do is I'll paint it white so that it will match everything else in the room because under the carpet it's just uh, three quarter inch ply. And here's my rug. I love this rug. I love all the colors in it. <coughs> so I really would appreciate a comment on what you think 
of the kitchen makeover. I also painted the stove hood. I did a video on that. I did not paint this up here because I just felt like I needed to keep that, that trim, that trim right there that goes around the whole entire trailer. I wanted to keep that brown. And so I kept the little railing brown with it. I think I accomplished it, guys and girls, girls and guys. I think it looks pretty cottagey, homey. I love it. All right. I wanted to give you a little ambience <laughs> of what my place looks like at night with all the candles going. I have line hanging on the line linen right here and this is cinnamon apple and oat and this candle I was shocked to see again on crafty girl as she was going through her house lighting candles she lit one just exactly like this <laughs> mine was a gift from my friend in California and then I've got my little lantern up here I'm going to be painting the living room I'm leaving the paper up but I'm going to be changing all the trim to white just like I have in my kitchen so that's going to be upcoming videos I have it dark on purpose so you can see the ambience I did go back to Dollar Tree and I picked up two or three more of those. They're all different. I put some of the, whatever those leaves are. I can't think of that anything right now. <laughs> and then we got a candle going over here with the little Pioneer family. I love the Pioneer family. I am just such a little kid. I like anything that's dolls like that with those cute, cute, cute faces. I hope you guys are having a great, wonderful, awesome weekend. Oh, I got to turn this one on. Let's see if I can do it and hold the phone. there and then I love these candles I got these at Amazon I will link them below they're remote controlled but I love the way they flicker just like a real candle and then of course my little lantern over there and no, it's not a heater. I thought the same thing when I first saw it on another channel. It just is for ambience. Yeah. And then I got fairy lights up here in the kitchen. This is a DIY that I did. I got the plaque at Dollar Tree and the farmhouse and the leaves I stenciled onto there and then I put the stitching and did the bow the twine came with it I did not film that DIY but I wanted to show it to you because it just looks so cute in this kitchen <laughs> and I'm going to be doing something with that I'm not sure what yet I hope you've enjoyed this vlog today and my kitchen reveal it's been a lot of fun to do I'm excited to do the rest of my house so I'm going to have more videos coming your way I'm changing the whole thing up. I really am. Anyway, yeah, if you're enjoying this, I really would appreciate a comment. Thank you so much for those. I love comments. And remember, thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, really glad to see you here. Don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out and thumbs up. I'm holding this in my hand, so. <laughs> I love you. God loves you. And I'll see you next time.